welcome to today's lecture in this video we are going to learn about even and odd functions in the interval minus l to l and how to determine the fourier series for them now before going to the problems let us have a glimpse on even and odd functions so a function is said to be even or if f of minus x is equal to f of x for all x uh, these are the examples x squared and cos x. Similarly, a function will be odd if f of minus x will be minus f of x. And a few examples are x cube and uh, sin x. And this is how uh, the graph of the functions uh, even and odd look like. For example, if you take y equal to x squared, it represents a parabola and y equal to that is a, that was an even function and next we have an odd function graph y equal to x cube so here again on the right side we have the differences between the graphs for even function and the odd function generally when we consider functions like uh, we may always think it has to be either even or odd um, that is not the case uh, let us see here there are functions uh, which will not be even or not even odd. So, when you have f of x, uh, if it is uh, not going to be equal to f of minus x or if it's not going to be equal to minus uh, f of minus x, and in that case, uh, what's going to happen? Yeah, we can consider them as neither even and uh, nor odd functions. These are the examples for that e power x and x plus x squared. So here, if you observe, if you substitute uh, uh, x as minus x, uh, for example, e power minus x, you are not going to get back uh, e power x or uh, you are not going to even get minus e power x. So it is totally different. So this is a classic example for neither even nor odd functions. Now, why do we have to analyze about these even and odd functions? Uh, because for uh, even function, if we observe, the value of bn will be 0 uh, because the formula for bn was like 1 by l minus l to l f of x into sin nx dx, sin being an odd function and when a function f of x is even, uh, totally we will have odd uh, inside that uh, integral sign, so the, that integral will be 0. So that is why we have bn 0 for a uh, even function. And in that case, the values of a0 and an can be written as 2 by l into 0 to l instead of 1 by l minus l to l. Uh, that minus l to l can be uh, reframed as twice of 0 to l since the function is even function. Similarly, when the function is odd, we will have a0 and an uh, values 0 and bn value will be 2 by l. 0 dl f of x sin f x by l dx. So this will actually reduce our work into half. Instead of finding out uh, all the integral uh, uh, integration values etc. We can just simply say like uh, the value of bn is 0 whenever the function is even. Let us see a problem here. Express the diffracted x-rays from the laboratory designed gas cell shown in the figure as sinusoidal waves over the interval minus 1 to 1 of the horizontal base. Now this is a problem. When you consider X-ray diffraction actually it is uh, uh, playing a vital role in many fields like uh, uh, to identify the crystalline materials in nature like minerals and inorganic compounds etc. Similarly it is also used in thin film analysis and to identify the biological structure of uh, materials, vitamins, drugs, etc. And also to determine the size of atoms, the length and type of uh, chemical bonds. So it is essential to study about the waveforms of the X-ray diffraction. So here uh, what uh, exactly they are asking. So given uh, this particular sample of X-ray diffraction, they have asked us to convert the um, x-ray diffracted rays uh, into sinusoidal waves. So first observe the part of the diffracted ray in the picture. Can you identify the graph? 
to which uh, graph it is equivalent because first we need to identify the function for which we need uh, to represent as uh, sinusoidal yeah it is exactly this one are you able to identify now yeah this is the graph of the function y equal to modulus x so the diffracted x, x rays are uh, represented by the function y equal to f of i mean f of x which is modulus x so our work now is to find the fourier series of mod x uh, in the interval they have given uh, minus one to one so like this uh, we have to represent the diffracted rays but with sinusoidal waves when we observe this particular function mod x it is an even function so for an even function what we learned yeah bn will be zero for all n and the formula for a naught and a n also will be little bit different here you remember that now comparing the interval minus l to n with uh, minus 1 to 1 here specifically we have the value of l as 1 so the Fourier series is given by uh, f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation a n cos n by x by l because uh, there is no bn term here since bn is 0 hence now replace uh, the value of l as uh, 1 we have like this now we'll move on to the formulas of uh, a naught and a n so let us start uh, finding a naught first this is the formula for a naught remember because uh, since we need to substitute f of x as mod x and uh, we cannot uh, integrate or differentiate modulus x so before that we need to replace mod x in other form so this is the definition of modulus x if you remember it is going to be plus x in the positive range and minus x in the negative range so in the place of f of x uh, we shall substitute uh, just plus x since the modulus x is plus x in the positive range and since we are integrating from 0 to 1 we are integrating only in the positive range so f of x is x and of course it's a simple integration x when we integrate we have x squared by 2 now apply the limit 2 into 1 minus 0 divided by 2 the answer is 1 hence the value of a naught is 1 next we'll move on to finding the value of uh, a n this is a formula for a n and uh, as usual substitute the value of f of x as x because uh, what is f of x mod x but it is going to be plus x in the positive range and we are putting l equal to 1 and uh, look at this term how we are going to integrate this yeah it has two product terms x into cos n by x so let us remember our famous Bernoulli's rule keep the first keeping the first x term into integrate the second so what is the second term here cos n by x that when we integrate we get yeah sin n by x divided by n pi minus differentiate the first so x when we differentiate 1 into integrate the second when we integrate the second term uh, what is the second term sin n by x that when we integrate what we get minus cos n by x divided by n pi already n pi was there so one more n pi will come so totally we will have n squared pi squared of course the differentiation uh, integration is over because uh, the next will be when we differentiate the first term we have here 1 when we differentiate 0 so the integration is over and now we have to apply the limit from 0 to 1 so what is the upper limit in the place of x we have to put 1 so we have like this so we have just substituted x as 1 minus the lower limit what is the lower limit in the place of x we have to put 0 so we have like this so because sine 0 is going to be 0 cos 0 is going to be 1 so remember these formulas always sin n pi 0 cos n pi and uh, minus 1 power n so substituting these values we have the answer of a n as 2 into cos n pi minus 1 divided by n squared pi squared so we will have like this and now we can replace cos n pi as minus 1 power n and already we have uh, learned whenever we have 1 and minus 1 power n together like this the minus 1 power n minus 1 it will either be 0 for odd integers or for even integers in this case whenever 
2, 4, 6, etc. When you put, you get plus 1. So, 1 minus 1 will be 0. So, A and answer will be 0 whenever N takes even integers. So, that is why we have like this. And when N is odd, uh, we will have in the numerator uh, minus 2. So, totally minus 4 divided by N squared by square. Uh, hence, the Fourier series of modulus x uh, can be written as f of x as a naught by 2, our a naught value was 1, so 1 by 2 plus sigma a n cos n by x. This is the answer of a n. In the place of a n, we write minus 4 by n squared pi squared. And of course, the summation we cannot write 1 to infinity now because a n is having value only for odd, in, odd integers. So, we specify n equal to 1, 3, 5, etc. So, which gives the sinusoidal waves. So, thus we have uh, expressed or represented the diffracted X rays, which was in the form Y equal to modulus X as a cosine series, that is uh, the sinusoidal waves using our Fourier series technique. Now, let us move on to the next problem. Here, finding a Fourier expansion of x minus x cube we need in a minus 2 comma 2 interval. Now, look at the function f of x equal to x minus x cube. If you replace uh, x as minus x, what do you observe? Minus x plus x cube and when you take a negative sign, we observe f of minus x is minus f of x. What does it say? Yeah, f of x is an odd function because uh, do you remember whenever f of minus x is minus f of x, that function is an odd function. And whenever we have odd function, the values of the Fourier constants a0 and an is going to be 0. So, we just have a very simple expression of Fourier series as summation bn into sin m by x by l because here we have a0 and an values are 0. And uh, now let us move on to finding uh, the value of uh, bn. Uh, before that, uh, the interval comparison let us do minus l comma l is our general format. But here in this problem specifically they have given minus 2 to 2. So, comparing these two intervals we have l equal to 2. And uh, hence uh, f of x formula becomes like this just substituting l equal to 2. Now we will move on to find uh, the value of bn. This is the formula for bn for even an odd case. So, since this is an odd function uh, we have formula like this. And now let us substitute in the place of L2. So, the value of Bn is uh, this integration. Again here, uh, if you look at the integral, we have product of two terms in the integral. Uh, so, we have to use Bernoulli's rule as usual. And before going to the Bernoulli's rule of integration, let us have a glimpse of the basic formulas. Sin nx when we integrate minus cos nx by n. And cos nx when we integrate, we get sin nx by n. Now, let's start the integration. Uh, Bn equal to, what is the first term? x minus x cube. So, just keep the first term into integral in the second. Sin when we integrate, we get minus cos n pi x by 2 divided by n pi by 2 minus differentiate the first. Now, what is the first term? x minus x cube. That when we differentiate, we get 1 minus 3x squared into integral in the second. So, minus cos, when we integrate, we get minus sin divided by, again, n pi by 2 will come. So, totally, we will have n squared pi squared by 4. Now, what will be the next? Plus, differentiate the first term. So, what is the first term here? 1 minus 3x squared. So, that when we differentiate, what we will get? Yeah, minus 6x. So, the next is plus minus 6x into integrate the second. So, second we have minus sign. So, that when we integrate what we get? Yeah, sign when we integrate minus cos. So, already we have a negative sign here. So, we will have minus minus cos. So, it is plus cos n pi x by 2 divided by again n pi by 2 will come. So, we will have n cube pi cube by 8. Next, minus differentiate the first. So, here what is the first term? Minus 6x. So, that when we differentiate, we get yeah, minus 6 into integrate the second. So, cos when we integrate, we get sin. Sin n pi x by 2. Again, n pi by 2 will come. So, totally we will have n power 4 pi power 4 by 16. 
and that's all the integration is over because we have got the constant on the first term so the next when we proceed when we differentiate the first term what we will get yeah zero so now we have to apply the limit so before applying the limit remember these formulas uh, sin n phi is going to be zero and cos n phi will be minus one power n so when we apply the formula when uh, this formula when we use uh, the value of bn will become uh, upper limit in the place of x we have to put two so the first term will be 2 minus 8 into uh, when we put x as 2 we get minus cos n phi divided by n phi by 2 so that 2 i have taken to the numerator the next will be 0 because sin n phi is going to be 0 and the next term will be minus 6 into x no there we have to put x as 2 so minus 12 into uh, cos n phi by n cube phi cube by 8 so that 8 has gone to the numerator next uh, plus 6 into 0 because sin n phi will be 0 minus lower term i mean lower limit uh, what is the lower limit when we put x as 0 the lower limit will be 0 all the terms will become 0 so this is the final uh, value of bn when you simplify hence the fourier series of f of x is given by f of x equal to sigma what we had bn into sin n phi x by 2 so in the place of bn just substituting the value of bn we have this so students i hope you would have learned how to evaluate fourier series uh, in an interval of the type minus l comma l so kindly use uh, the techniques what you have learned in the lecture and uh, try these problems In this lecture, we learned how to find Fourier series of even and odd functions, especially in the interval minus L comma L. And in the next class, we are going to see how to find half range sine series in the interval 0 comma 5.